Welcome back. Today we're going to the Peach PRC show in LA. So let's do a quick little OOTD before we head out. I was going to add this top as a part of the show outfit for tonight, but it just really didn't fit. So I thought this was actually a, a good way to incorporate it. All I'm dressed for is to just go check into the hotel, but I still wanted it to be on theme for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my hair in the overnight curlers because again, I just, the show's not till tonight and all I'm doing is checking into the hotel. So might as well leave that up. I also went ahead and did my nails and threw on some jewelry. I basically just picked up some nails from the 99 cent store, some plain pink ones and some glitter and some added decorations and just made them myself at home, which was a fun little activity. It was actually kind of fun to, I created the outfit, the headband I'm gonna wear, I decorated my own nails, so fun. Just got to the hotel, I'm staying in a place called the Vibe Hotel, which is kind of like a unique little bungalow type of situation. There's kind of like construction happening right outside my room, so don't mind that. Luckily the noise won't bother me much, but um, nothing fancy, but it serves our perfect our purpose perfectly. We just needed something cheap and close to the venue so we can get a little bit of sleep afterwards and like get ready beforehand, right? So let me give you a quick, quick little tour of the room. That's it. That's the room. <laughs> There's the teensiest little bathroom. Like I said, we were not going for luxury here. We were going for convenience, and that's definitely what we got. We are super close to the venue. The venue's at the Roxy tonight, which I know is a pretty famous spot out here. It is a Monday night spot, but like, pretty cool for her to be playing at the Roxy. <laughs> Let's do a little get ready with me. I took my hair down, threw some hairspray in it, and I also already put on my lashes. I thought that it was gonna be a lot harder for me to put on my lashes today because of my nails. I usually just use my fingers. Turns out it's actually way easier for me if I use tweezers and actually wait for the glue to dry long enough. I've been struggling putting lashes on and all this is very, very new for me. So I've been trying to figure out, like get used to it and figure out how to do it better. And I think my main issue is that I just don't wait for the glue to dry long enough. <laughs> so love a little simple fix. So if you somehow have not already heard me say this, the vibe tonight is pink, sparkly, fairy vibes. I've got like pink and glitters and stuff. And then with eyes down, I don't really do any base makeup or anything like that. I'm not trying to cover anything up. I just like the addition of colors and sparkles and designs and stuff. Anyways, <laughs> with the eyes done, I'm gonna just throw some color on my cheeks. Rhinestones too. And of course, pink lipstick. Let's get dressed. I have this cute little, it's a hair clip, but I just kind of clipped it onto the scarf. I thought that made a cute little addition. And I'm gonna throw my headband on too. I changed this just a little bit from the version that you guys saw. I wasn't really vibing with the little pieces in front. They like weren't, weren't staying put. They kept getting stuck in my hair and everything. And so I took those off and just added like a second butterfly. I'll correct this in the mirror when I can see properly, but this is the vibe we're going for. I feel like a Barbie. Hmm. Love how the headband turned out. That show was amazing. I'm back at the hotel now. I'm just cutting off my nails, honestly. I'm gonna cut off this hand too. I don't know how ladies do it, but I cannot have these nails long. I can't even type on my phone. Like, I literally don't know how women exist like this all the time. Fun for the occasion, but now they gotta go. <laughs> that show was amazing. Chloe opened for her, which was an artist that I wasn't familiar with. Apparently she's another Australian artist, which, uh, who does pop music, which was pretty cool. I enjoyed her set very much, uh, even though I wasn't familiar with it. It's always good to see live music and hers was particularly good. Um, definitely fit the vibe of the show. I could see why they had her open up for her, you know what I mean? Um, and then uh, Peach's set was all I could hope for. All The only thing I would have hoped for was that it was just longer, <laughs> of course. We laughed, we cried, we twerked to God as a freak. It was really just a great show. 
not only do I just relate with her story and like the lyrics and all that, but uh, the music, the pop vibe and the sparkles and the aesthetic is just fun. But also that girl can like actually sing. She can actually sing. She actually puts on a really fun and vibrant show. I really, really enjoyed myself a lot. I'm really glad that I got to go to this. Much better. Still cute, but functional. <laughs> Now, let me see if I can get all this glitter off my face. Y'all, that bracelet that they ID you with is a sensory nightmare. I, ugh, my wrist is like all agitated and itchy. I should have taken that off last night. I didn't really think about it, <laughs> but yeesh, that has literally nothing to do with anything. Anyways, um, the hotel I'm staying in has uh, free little breakfast and coffee and tea and stuff. I'm not gonna partake in the breakfast. It's mostly like instant oatmeal and like packaged pastries and stuff. And given that I'm in LA, I think I'm gonna try to stop by a vegan restaurant. There's like so much good vegan food around here. I don't know where I wanna go. I wanna try to find something new. So I'm gonna take a quick little Google um, and see if there's anything new. I know of a ton of good spots around here already, but like I said, let's try to switch it up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna drink my tea here. I've gotta be careful, all I had was plain black tea and uh, caffeine gets my anxiety going. I realized I pretty much cut caffeine out of my life for that reason. So I'm gonna take it easy on this and let's go get some food too. The bangs are not banging today. Y'all, tell me why I thought this headband was gonna be the solution to all my problems today. That literally does nothing. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Anyways, I found a place called Sugar Taco. They are supposed to have vegan birria tacos and churro donuts. Enough said, count me in, I'm going. That sounds amazing. I've never tried the place before, but it has great reviews, great options, and we're gonna try to check it out. It doesn't open for a couple of hours though. I'm willing to wait for it. Let's go probably walk around the Grove. Everything's like right here close to me. So let's just like go wait, waste some time in the Grove. Let's go like look at all the luxury goods. I gotta check myself sometimes y'all. I was literally in this mirror for the last like five minutes just trying to get my bangs the way I want them to the point that I literally had to go, girl, stop looking at your damn hair and go experience life. It doesn't matter that much. Like I love the bleach hair, don't get me wrong. I think I probably complain about it in every video. I genuinely do love it. When it's done, it's great. Oh, that's the cutest angle. Love that for me. When it's done, <laughs> when it's done, it's so great. But like waking up on a random morning like this, like I noticed my hair was really dry last night, so I put coconut oil in it as well, and that's definitely not helping either. <laughs> um, and then I was like gonna sleep with that headband in because I just wanted it out of my face, and then I took that off at midnight. Um, now I'm still doing it. Stop staring at your hair and go experience life. Within the puzzles at Barnes & Noble is the only place that doesn't have shopkeepers swarming me or copyright music. The, the Grove is not very vlog friendly, but it's a pretty cute place to shop around. I went inside Michael Kors and coach and a few other places. I don't buy that kind of stuff ever, but I love looking at it. Came over and got my food. I picked up a couple of carne asada tacos. Unfortunately, they didn't have the video ones. I didn't ask, I don't know why. I just asked her if she had them. She said, nope. I said, bummer, and ordered something else. <laughs> so I got three asada tacos. And I also got, I wanted, typically I would get asada on my lo loaded fries as well, but I wanted to try the pollo. So I got some chicken on here. These look promising. Hmm, okay. The meat. Hmm, I like it. Mm. 
I passed on the donut from here though because I realized that we're very very close to donut friend and even though I said I wanted to try something new and I did and this was great and I'm very pleased that I tried it because it turned out to be a really great spot and I love tacos especially tacos are probably my favorite food ever so if I can get vegan ones I'm kind of blinded in the beauty but it's all right I think I might have to make my own because at this point I keep trying to get them I've tried a few times I've been to different places that said they were gonna have them and they never do <laughs> the universe is just barring me from beauty and I don't know why so anyways we're gonna go to donut friend because they have like specialty vegan donuts donut friend is by far the best donut shop you can customize them or like get the pre-made ones I had to save room for a donut I grabbed the lemon one for myself I love a tangy lemon dessert I didn't get any of the lemon filling. <laughs> and it's messy. That's the only thing I don't like about powdered. Mm. Oh my God, there's the lemon inside. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Would not recommend eating in the car, but oh my God, that is good.